Oh snap, we're back. And I know you see the goggles. I know you see these gloves. And I know you know what that means, dude. You know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? Corey's back, dude. The anticipated return. <laughs> and I'm not about to go in there raw. Not, I'm not senseless. I've still got enough wits about me to know that I, I gotta be protected because there's gonna be an intense, cringe, atmospheric pressure that we're all likely to experience right now. If you got goggles, if you got gloves, if you got earplugs, if you got a hazmat suit, whatever you need, dude. You got a sword? You got a, you got a katana? You got a machete? Whatever you need to protect yourself. Don't be a hero, okay? When we start watching this, you start to feel a little queasy. You start to get a cringe headache. Go ahead and hit pause. Take a lap. Come back. You're not gonna impress me by sticking around and just getting fucked up by <laughs> just getting hit with a barrage of cringe photons that's not cool dude so like i said Corey feldman is back and that's exciting this man's been making music for 35 years and the reason that that's important and i would like to underscore it is because he's not getting better somehow <laughs> and if Corey feldman didn't have the success that he had back in like the 80s when he was a child actor at this point, he would just be like the beautifully insane guy that you talk to at the bus stop. Yeah, I'm Michael Jackson. A lot of people don't know this, but I'm actually Michael Jackson. <laughs> and you're just sitting there like, hell yeah, dude. I gotta get on this bus now. Keep rocking, though. And it turns out that this song is featuring Curtis Young, who is actually Dr. Dre's kid. So that's interesting. That's a weird career move, I feel like. It's amazing how you can watch somebody be like, yo, real quick, let me just let me just detonate my entire career. Let me just, hey, real quick, let me just blow up my entire career. Let's just nosedive this thing straight into <laughs> straight into the ground by backing up one of the goofiest guys in the world. But I'm excited, man. This is the comeback king. It's quite the comeback, Corey. It's been like 30 plus years of a comeback, but hey man, that's what makes him the king of it, I guess. Ooh. What time it is? It's a comeback. <laughs> it's just so much to take. It's like he never left. This guy hasn't missed a beat, dude. He's the exact same. It's crazy. Still doing the Michael Jackson thing, which is insane. There's this guy, he's washing his face, he looks up in the mirror, and then I guess he sees Corey Feldman, which is literally a horror movie. <laughs> You're washing your face, you look up, and you see Corey Feldman. <laughs> you just see Feldman behind you, just... What time it is? Getting tabletop, the ultimate bully move. Somebody kneels behind you and you push them over. Classic bully move. I'm the comeback, comeback king. I am missing, missing nothing. If you're going to, going to swing. You better make it sting. Cause I'm the comeback king. Get you down on the floor, they're gonna keep it. They just kick you some more and treat you like spit. I'm sorry. This guy's elbow is busted the fuck open, dude. What happened? He got tabletopped on the grass and completely split his shit wide open. What's in that grass, man? The bullies like break a bunch of glass and put it behind him. I mean, that is a, that's a ridiculous cut for falling in the grass. Jesus. Also, it's good to see Corey Feldman has not let up on the like angry, growling, rap type thing that he likes to do. It's such a weird vibe. And you know he was like, yo, Curtis, check this out. You can be my Dr. Dre and I'll be your Slim Shady. They treat you like spit? Just, just say the no-no word. Just say shit. They treat you like spit? What does that mean? I've ne I don't know how I treat spit. Just when you're ready for the door, they're gonna close it. You're a beautiful soul, but no one knows it. It's true we all have sadness and moments that we lost. <laughs> hmm. It's insane. It's insane. I'm glad to see there's been no improvement. You know what I mean? You'd think after 35 years he would learn how to, I don't know, write lyrics in any intelligent sort of way. It's really like a, a bummed out sixth grader. They treat me so bad, but they didn't know I was actually really cool. I can't stress this enough. It's been 30 plus years of writing. Learn how like 
an analogy or a metaphor works and then utilize different writing tools. It's insane. It's ins Dude, he spends no time mastering his craft, which really speaks to the amount that he's not self-aware because he's like, master what, dude? I've already mastered it. I've been mastered it. It's like in his head, he's like, this is as good as you can get. <laughs> Come on, dude. Is he trolling me at this point? What was this move? He gave us the rabbit ears, dude. Aggressive fucking rabbit ears. <laughs> Gotta show them who is boss. I'm the comeback, comeback king. I am missing, missing nothing. <laughs> who does that? This bully waited outside this guy's house for God knows how long. Just being like, he'll take the trash out eventually. Sooner or later, he's going to have to take out the garbage. And get this, dude. Master plan. I'm going to be there waiting. And I'm going to scoot the garbage can forward. And he's going to look like a damned fool. Look how ticked off he is, dude. He's so let down that his trash didn't make it into the bin. Also, by the way, his arm is still, like, covered in blood. <laughs> Unbelievable. Ding, I'm the comeback king. Oh my god, dude. He's dressed like a knockoff Street Fighter character. And then when he's like throwing his fists, they're like overcocked and like bent and shit. You really don't want to find yourself on the receiving end of a felled punch. With tendrils of hair like that in front of your face? Now this guy's got some sort of chi powers for sure. This shirt that he's wearing, this jacket, this like black jacket, looks like it's entirely made out of the corners of a fitted sheet for your bed. This guy's weird with his fabric choices. Every outfit he wears is like shiny and fucking frilly and padded and futuristic. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> no, nobody knows what you mean, Corey. You know, know what I mean. Can you stop insinuating that we're on the same page? I don't know what you mean. The last thing you did that I understood was mouth from the Goonies crazy that this is what mouth is up to you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying all these years later mouth is michael jackson what the hell when i'm gone it's end of scene like a blank screen you can never count me out but you can never count me out but you can never count oh shit dude this kid was getting bullied but i got a feeling there's gonna be a, an intense comeback arc well he threw on some boxing gloves is he getting training who knows? It doesn't really, it's not clear. He's just sort of in his backyard with boxing gloves. But he's fucking throwing some fists. This is gonna be, this is gonna get epic, dude. I hope there's a scene where Corey Feldman just beats the shit out of a bunch of bullies. King's arrival, palm branches that regal titles. Young disciple, legend talking, DB rivals. Wear your blueprint, activating the truthness. The lost boy been redefined, divine align. Why did you do this, Curtis? Why would you ever get behind this? Also, dude, where's the angels? Where the hell are the angels? Did they finally all escape his fucking tangled web that he had them trapped in? <laughs> they finally just get fed up with the gluten-free vegan food that he was forcing down their throats? Or did he do something to them? Corey, where are the angels? You got me worried for their well-being. This is making me so uncomfortable. I'm not... <laughs> Honestly, I did not think that it was possible. But somehow, his dancing, it's gotten worse. Somehow he's got less rhythm than he ever has. This is like the saddest jazzercise class. <laughs> This guy's leading a Thai bow class. Right hand follow. Seven, That's it. Eight, Let's go. One, Don't bounce two, here. Come on. Three, four, what kind of five, punch are we making? Six, what kind of punch, guys? Seven, Cross five. it. I mean, what's going on? I love the idea that he watched this back and he's like, fucking nailed it, dude. Nailed it. Nailed it. Another one. Another one in the books. <laughs> His weird stationary jog into the fucking rabbit, the whole antlers rabbit ears devil horns thing jog jog bunny ears 
What, what is it? Is it antennas? Is he doing a grasshopper? It, I literally don't understand what he's doing. Is he trying to do the Eminem, like, devil horns thing? Oh, good, dude. That'd be the next phase of Corey Feldman's music career, is him impersonating Slim Shady. Good God, would I love to see that. But he would never do it because he'd have to retire so much plastic leather. All of his shiny clothes wouldn't make sense anymore. I believe I've hit my limits for at least a couple seconds. Let me just sort of... <sighs> it's just a lot. I can't get over this dance scene. I'm gonna have to split this video into two parts just to make it through this one dance scene, dude. So it's, so it's, uh, jog, jog, bunny ears, matrix, shitty fucking matrix bullet dodge, baseball, fake punch. <sighs> Gather myself. Going back in. It's like watching your dad in his late 50s bust a move when you've never seen him dance before and it just shocks you. I hope that Corey Feldman is donating his organs to science when he dies so they can look at his brain and just see what what is it that functions in here. Why is there a portion missing of the like entire self-reflection, self-awareness. He's been playing dress up for 30 plus years and nobody's thought to stop him. Nobody can stop him. Or maybe they did and now he's back. I don't, I don't know, dude. He's the comeback king though. After the nuclear fallout subsides and the, the entire country's a complete wasteland, everybody's dead, the only things left will be, and I believe this, Twinkies, cockroaches, and Corey Feldman himself, dude. Corey Feldman looks like Michael Jackson now. Like a bloated corpse. <laughs> is that too much? I don't know, dude. I don't know where the line is anymore. I'm all disoriented. I think that's Corey Feldman's, like, main goal with his music. It's just to fucking hit you with it. Your fucking lens goes blurry. You get disoriented, like getting hit with a frag grenade. And you don't know what happened. You come out the other end a different person. Next thing you know, you've bought Corey Feldman tickets. You're at the show. Your life's just a blur. Nothing makes sense anymore. The lyrics make no sense, dude. He's a misfit, and instead of kicking his ass, they would have kissed it. If, if what? You didn't set up a scenario where that would be the case. You just said, instead of that, they would have done this. They would have done that if what? It makes no sense. Instead of kicking my ass, they would have kissed it. I was dropping the bomb without the fuse lit. I was dropping the bomb without the fuse lit. Why? Why would you, that's an ineffective way to use a bomb, dude makes no sense and I don't know why you'd brag about it sounds like a fuck up they offer your breaks to make you commit sin they place a film around your name to cause distraction that's in your chances to advance what are you doing to the wall what's going on there man that's in your chances to advance he's like yo you know it'd be really cool if you got a if you got a cool scene of me being sexy up against the wall did you see hey did you see when I was being hot up against the metal door <laughs> Is he, like, protecting us from going in that door? Does he not want us to see what's inside the door? Or is he holding it closed? What's behind it? Are the angels behind the door, Corey? They're all in there just pounding on the door trying to escape. And he's like... Oh. <sighs> you can see the dents in the door. That's where the angels have come together to use battering ram on the inside. <laughs> it's like some sort of, like, warehouse chiller or freezer... Or fridge or something that he's like locked the angels in damn dude you see that fucking kick Whoo! that'll make you shit your pants you get hit with that bad boy get <laughs> he just sparta kicked us dude whoa whoa feldman 
I had no idea you were so nimble and strong. Come back, Come back you know, know what I'm... He's clearly rubbing off on the dancers who are doing like fucking... That's a Feldman move if I ever saw one, dude. Dude loves to go from bent arms to straight arms quick. <laughs> that's like his whole... That's like his, a big part of what he does. Bent, straight. Straight up. Bent. Straight down. Bent. See that comes full circle. Man, what a deep, what a deep video. What a deep video with beautiful symbolism and, and a and, a, and a, just a great storyline. In the beginning, he was young washing his face. At the end, he's an old turd washing his face. That's so cool, dude. Although, like, honestly, the way it's shot makes it look like one second he's young, and then his life just sort of quickly passes him by. Almost like that was all in his brain. This whole song just took place where he was a rock star. And then the next second, he's just old. Like, <laughs> like he hit, like, a time warp while washing his face, and time just disappeared. And with it, it took his upper lip. Rest in peace, Corey Feldman's upper lip. Gone, but not forgotten. I'm not trying to be a dick, but like it's just skin that ends, and then it's just skin, 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 mouth. Since everybody's waited so patiently for another Corey Feldman video, let's do a quick twofer. And I'm sorry that we have to beat this song into your brain, but there is in fact a video of Corey Feldman performing Comeback King live. Boy, the angels are looking rough, hey? <laughs> he got m man angels. He switched it up and he got dude angels. He's like, this is Gabriel. This one's Archangel Michael. And on drums, we have Metatron. Or those are the same girls. And this is just what this stress of having to be around and tour with Corey Feldman does to the body. Equally, equally possible scenarios. We all have sadness, moments that we The music sounds god awful. Bring the angels back. Somehow that that group of misfit women that he took in off the streets was much better. Bro's fucking microphone volume could not be lower. What's that about? <laughs> Did they even test the audio before this? What a fucking mess, dude. What? I knew it. I knew we couldn't go with an entire reaction video on this without seeing Corey Feldman aggressively take his hat off and start doing a mid-performance outfit change. It's the only move he keeps tucked in his back pocket. They're not going to expect this, dude. I'm wearing one thing, right? And then out of nowhere, I'm wearing a different thing. Wrap your head around that one. He's like stuck in his jacket. Very smooth, Corey. He's like, God damn, this pleather really sticks to your skin when you get a little sweaty. Probably shouldn't have worn two jackets and leather pants. That was a lot to take. Right? So yeah, anyways, sorry for making you listen to that twice. I'm probably gonna get evicted from my building at this point. There's no way my neighbors are chill with me repetitiously playing Comeback King as loud as I have been. Anyways, that's gonna do it. I gotta go for a walk or something. I don't know. I'm gonna go curl up into a ball in the shower and cry it out. Yeah, he's just assaulted me with his music. Thanks for sticking around. Please hit like, hit subscribe, watch my other videos. There's a bunch of other videos. Not everything I do is Corey Feldman. Turns out, dude, we can make fun of a lot of things. Thanks for hanging out with me. Hope you enjoyed this.
Peace out. That's it. Eight, Let's go. And one, Don't bounce two, here. Come on. Three, four, what kind of punch five, are we making? What six, kind of punch, guys? Seven,